Hello, and welcome back to whatever this series is. We have become a Master Carpenter. Advance! Rank 1! Master Carpenter! So, what do we do now? Oh hey, I just remember there's a main quest line in this game. Maybe we should try one of those. But before I do that, I can't forget to harvest my homestead stones and gather my strawberries. Can't start the day without mining ever so slightly. Gotta get my homestead stones, it's very important I get them. This place will look amazing one day. I choose Advent of the Goddess as my starting quest. It sounds cool, plus if I remember correctly, I've already started this quest line a little. Remember back in my first week, that creepy flashing demon thing? Oh god, I've activated a thing. Yeah, yeah, that. I think that has to do with this quest line. Might have some fighting too, so this is a good opportunity to level up my puppetry. So let's be reborn as a puppeteer. I might mark this change with a haircut or something. Hello now, rebirth please. Let's let's have a little ponytail, why not? And then we're gonna go combat character, we're gonna go puppetry. Do I look silly? Maybe I'll look silly. I should have kept it. And just so my level isn't too low, let's complete a planet quest and get ourselves to level 125. What a rush. Back in week one, I had a dream about a goddess asking for help. And I met a bear in the woods. Alright, with that out of the way, let's start our journey. We have to head to a priest in Dunbarton by the name of Stuart. Apparently there's three missing warriors. Ooh, it's not a locked camera. If I go into here, uh, now it's a locked camera. I do like this. It reminds me of like, reminds me of old JRPGs. I'm a big fan, actually. Yeah, oh, let me try and get over that. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Beneath his glasses, his soft eyes are somewhat appealing. Somewhat appealing. Rude. The three missing warriors, the ones who are said to have gone to Tyr Nanong. We get given a locket that was once owned by a man named Tarlak. This is actually a memento that belonged to Tarlak, the mighty wizard, one of the three missing warriors. His desires and memories remain in the locket. Try placing this on the altar of the goddess inside the Albi dungeon. As just mentioned, we can use this locket to experience some of their memories. It's a cool way to get us to play through some of the story elements. We find out that the missing warriors were named Tarlak, as we already know. Mari, and the person we actually play for this section, Rari. Your school sends students to dungeons for practice? What kind of teacher sends their child into a place like this? Ooh, nice camera shift. It's okay, because everyone from Tia Janali is strong enough to take care of themselves. <laughs> After meeting you, I believe it. Are you ready to go? Maybe we're ready to go, we'll see. Oh, I'm playing as this guy. Do I have any abilities? Look how much wood he's got. Why do you got so much firewood? I guess it's for making fires. Wow, that's kind of wild. I know, right? Skills. Skills. Oh, he does have skills. Unless these guys start attacking back, there's actually no point even using my other skills. Let's take a short break here. Oh, that's what the firewood was for. There are so many spiders here, and they're so big. Oh, you mean always reading? I can read. I promise I can actually read. Of course. Mario's from Tichinelli. I just don't remember. Right, sorry. I, I forgot you said you lost your memory. Your memory loss is probably druidic magic. Is she the druid? Are you the druid? I mean the bear, because someone's a bear, I believe. I'll rid the world of all the formers. She's so small. Is she like a dwarf, or is she like 12? Oh, they even get the cutscene for the boss? How sad. Yeah. Spiders like these are not usually found in Eren. It's the formers doing. Really? Because I've killed this spider like 10 times. Well, a beautiful goddess appeared in my dreams last night and told me something was going on. Are you sure it wasn't a romantic dream? Rari, tell me more. Uh, okay, so... This black-winged goddess appeared in front of me, standing in the darkness, and she told me to come to her. Oh, that goddess. I've seen that one. Dungeons were originally created to protect Eren from creatures of the former world, because they're formed by the power of the goddess Tyr Na Nong. However, if the number of formers is increasing as they are now, then something is surely wrong with the goddess. Now we know a little about the three missing warriors, let's head to Duncan and see what he thinks. Duncan? Duncan, you're corporeal. He sent us to Mevin, who in turn sent us to meet one of the three missing warriors, Tarlek, who happens to not be missing or dead. Be warned, there'll be a lot of going back and forth, but the story is good, so it's worth it. As it turns out, Tarlek was the bear we met previously. Hello. Oh, here you are. I knew you would be the bear. His cold emerald eyes are filled with a silent gloom. Oh, he's so aged. Ha! Sorry if I surprised you. Well, what do you think? Do you like seed? Seed? Sneech at night? Yes. The bear you met earlier was me. Yeah, I figured that out. I'm a genius. You had a dream about the goddess, didn't you? The one where she asked you to rescue her from Tyr Nanog? Then you're here to find out how to get there. Forget about it. That's no place for mortal kind. Forget it. Talak refused to tell us how to get to Tyr Nanog because he's a bitch. Tyr Nanog is the place the goddess is said to be held captive. It is also said to be a paradise with no pain or suffering. If you really must know, I can recommend a book to you. Land of Eternity. You can find it in the bookstore in Dunbarton. The Land of Eternity. Tyr Nanog. 
Oh, I remember that one. It wasn't selling at all, so I returned all of my copies. Let's see, I can order one for you, but it'll take some time to arrive. I hope that's okay. This is where the game uses an interesting technique. You don't get the next quest for a few minutes, and then the quest is delivered to you by bird. This really confused me at first. I didn't know what I'd done wrong, I couldn't find the next quest. But now I can see the logic. I don't think the devs want you focusing solely on one quest line like this. I think the devs want you to explore the world in its entirety, so they add little pauses between quests to try and get you distracted with something else. And with that explanation out of the way, I think we can go pick up the book. Hello. I like your trumpet thing. Good to see you. The book you ordered is here. Since you were so patient, you can have it for free. Let's read the book. Find the book, read the book, read. There we go, I've learned something. Take the book to Tarlac. Annoyingly, we still have to wait until night before we can go speak to Tarlac again. He still turns into a bear during the day, so. A human? Yes, a human, exactly what I wanted. Hello! I did your research, so you read the book and still want to go. It, I didn't really read the book, I opened it and the quest told me that I was done with it, so I stopped. Tiernanog is the land of formers. You don't believe me, huh? The pass I gave you is what the formers used to enter the dungeons. If you offer it to the statue of the goddess at the Barry dungeon, you will see everything I just told you for yourself. Let's find out how true this is, shall we? To Barry dungeon. Dungeon. Right, okay, let's do it. Whether I live, or die. It doesn't matter. I can always go back to that dude. Get another one. Green gremlins? They're so creepy looking. I really should do um, puppetry act six and seven. Have some more skills to use while on the job. Ooh, or oh. Hold up a second. Can I mine that? Hell yeah. Hey, I'm now a novice blacksmith. I like the enemy variety. Spiders and goblins and gremlins. Gremlins are definitely considerably different to goblins. Oh, boss. Militants, this place is forbidden to your kind. How dare you disrupt the honor of the bearer of the former medal. Oh, damn. How am I doing for puppetry skills? How close am I to anything? Oh, I can advance threshold cutter. Good, good. Oh, did I clear the dungeon? Nice, that was easy. I did not need to bring anyone for that. Take the former medal. I'll take that. Thank you. We found a very strange looking priest medal in the dungeon. This leads us to a nun in Dunbarton by the name of Crystal. Spelled K-R-I-S-T-E-L. L, but we'll call her Crystal. She runs away upon seeing the medal. Okay, okay, the story's getting interesting. We get sent back and forth between characters. Let's go to the church. Uh, uh. No dragons in the church. A medal, can I see it? Ah, that's a priest medal. But you say they got this from a former. Impossible, that's what everyone says. Ranald. Hello, friend. Oh, hello. Hello, goblin boy. You're very fine this evening. He has the sure look of a goblin, yet there is something different about this one. Oh my god, look at him! Look at his brain! It's like bubbling out of the top. That's a gross goblin. Can you smell all this? No, no. This amulet belongs to a powerful former. You are very brave to find this. I think I respect that. I think I respect that. Yep, uh... You understand the deeper meaning here, yes? The formers are imploring the goddess to aid them. They are coming to Eren with her help. Morrigan is assisting the formers in their invasion. It's unforgivable. Do you believe me? Oh, that's what this means. Amazing. You're not really strong, but wise. The Black Roses of the Dungeons, known as the Succubi to humans, said there was someone who had betrayed them. They said they were in Dunbarton last. Is there a Succubi here? Is that why she got so worried? Because she's harboring a succubus. I see. So Tarlac is still alive after all. I probably shouldn't have told her that. Yes, I am Bondi Gorsi. You're a succubus! We learned that the suspicious nun was in fact a former. What a twist! This is probably a good time to explain what formers are. I, uh, I have no idea. They seem to be non-humans who live in the dungeons. They've waged a war with humans twice and despise humans for their greed. Surprisingly deep, I know. Anyway, this former girl crystal gives us an item that holds Tarlac's memory. So let's head to Rabbit Dungeon and experience the next part of the story. I really like the fact that we get to play through these instead of, you know, being shown. Oh, if my assumption is correct, then all of these dungeons are really nothing more than one giant underground structure with different entrances. Ooh, the statue of the goddess was not created to transport those who offer an item. Rather, it was designed to seal off certain areas of the dungeon, preventing travelers from entering them. Where should we go? Into the dungeon, methinks? Has he got any cool skills? God, he's a bit, a bit shit, isn't he? I'm not sure I feel about charging the spells like this. That kind of sucked. I'm just, just hit him. Ow! Okay, maybe don't just hit him. Ah! Okay, so magic is gonna have to be. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I can drink health potion by pressing H. Oh my god, that's so convenient. Use Discord. No. Di no, Discord. Dis- Oh god. H -h, 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 H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H
Five, use Discord. It's the only good move I have. Oh, is the fire getting bigger? Oh, nice visual. And... Bop! I'm out of health potions, aren't I? I am completely out of health potions. Fire! No! Shit. I can't be as reckless now I'm out of health potions. I don't realize how dire this situation would be. Okay, that was a terrible mistake. That could have gone really badly. It did go badly because I aggroed the skelly. Fire it! Fire it! Fire it! Fire it! Fire it! Oh, I am targeted him. Use it. Ooh. Okay, no. No! Ow! 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 No, no, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm scared now. I am very scared now. He's doing counterattack. I don't want to hit him. Don't hit him. Don't hit him now! Why did you go hit him? Run. <laughs> no! He hasn't got anything above his head, so it should connect. Okay, don't panic. That's not the thing to do. Just, just wait. Be very patient. It's not like I'm on zero health or anything. Ooh! Ooh! I could rest. I could, I could use the skill that I have. La la, la la. Drop your sword when you come to see me. It breaks my heart to see my poor self reflected in your blade. Oh, hello. What do you think? It's a song I wrote for you. I hate it. I am well aware of your beauty and wisdom. However, I have no, to di n n no desire to hear your siren song. If I beat you, allow me to love you. I know that you are not truly evil. Deep down inside, still, I am a druid. I cannot grant your request. Damn, he rejected her. I kind of feel bad for her. Okay, before I even go in that room, I'm charging up an attack. Okay, there she is. Get blasted! Yeah! <laughs> but I really did want to win. All I wanted was for you to accept my love. Goodbye, hot. So the higher your fireball rank, the faster it charges. Easy! Oh my god, that makes magic so much better. Wow, okay, that was hard. But we did manage to learn, once again, what a bitch Tarlac is. Crystals in Dunbarton? How troubling. I'm sorry, but I'm in no position to recuperate her feelings. And in such a Tarlac way, he asks us to get Crystal to translate a book for him. She loves you, you dumbass. All right, this is where old Party Murloc, the romance guru, comes in. Tarlac asked me to translate a book for him. I see. Very well. I will translate it. You're so much taller than me. Do you grow taller as you age? Crystal, you dumb? Tarlac didn't come, did he? Of course not. He doesn't let anyone into his life. Am I nothing more than a tool to him? We learn about each other for the first time in years and he asked me to translate a book. That's it. I'm sorry. Tarlac, please. Please just go see this woman. She wants to see you so badly. I've gone back and forth so many times. Just go see this lady. Stop being a bitch. I understand how she feels, I truly do. She gave up her life as a former for love, but I am not the man who deserves that kind of love. It was too late when I realized it, and I broke her heart. Is there anything you need? No, there's nothing else I need. <laughs> I would like to speak to some other people. Please, there's a moon gate next to him. No, is there actually? Are you fucking kidding me? There it is. Oh my God, how have I never noticed this before? I cannot believe. Ah, oh, that is so, uh, blah. Hello, you're a schoolgirl. But a teacher? Ha ha! You look exactly the way Bevin described. I apologize for laughing. Nice to meet you. I'm Lazar. It's a black rose. The overwhelming hue of the flower turned itself pitch black. What do you need with such a rare flower? Are you going to give it to your lover or something? And I could go talk to Tarlac, but it is daytime now. So I gotta wait till 6 p.m. I decided to do some shadow quests while I waited. I believe in myself. Is this just a fight them till they're dead kind of mission? Oh, Peridot Marionette can be upgraded. That's awesome. And Rising Action can be upgraded. Rising Action can be upgraded again. This is great experience for Rising Action. A rank nine inciting incident. Red Rising Action, that's Rank 9 now, that's very nice. Light Armor Mastery. Oh, hey Dark Commander, I got a Knuckle Sandwich with your name on it. With, 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 with your name on it. <laughs> Thank you. Dark Commander's actually got some strength. Hell yeah. I left my treasure chest reward, is that what the key's for? Ah, feck. I did wonder what the, <laughs> what the key was for. Damn it. Hello, Tarlac. That's it. The black rose I've been looking for. Thank you, Polymer. Do me one more favor. Deliver this rose to Crystal of Dunbarton. Hello. This is... Oh, Tarlac. Tears flow from Crystal's eyes. Tarlac, he still remembers the song. Thank you. Party Murloc, thank you. If it weren't for you, I'd still be wondering why Tarlac abandoned me. Here's the translated book. There were some former texts written in the back of the book which seemed to have no connection to the other contents. I translated them anyway, just in case. I think they might they might be important. Don't quote me on that. After working as Cupid for what seems like forever, we managed to get the book. Read. Hey! We learn that the book is a book of revenge, written by Tarlac's former master, Moors. Moors died a hero in the last war between the formers and humans. What a disturbing book. You say the author is Moors? Hmm, you're right. It's not Moors Gwyndon the hero, is it? No. 
Can't be. He stuck into the former camp and ended their ritual, which could have ravaged Eren. He sacrificed himself to stop the evil wizard, Gabchael. His sacrifice is celebrated even to this day, just what it suspected. My master faked his own death, probably so he could help the formers freely. I wonder what he was so concerned about losing. Wait, Dunbarton's town office collects lost items and returns them to their rightful owners. You might be able to find a clue. I knew you'd be back. Here's the item you're looking for. Get out of my- what the fuck is that? Hmm, that reminds me of something else I'm not gonna mention. With this, uh, suspicious looking item, we can relive some of the memories of the great wizard Moors. What happened to this man? The real question is, are you smart enough for the math dungeon? Because I am not. Ah, but Moors might be smart enough for the math dungeon. Let's see how good this attack is. Fireball! <laughs> Sorry about that laugh, that was, um, I just wasn't expecting to completely decimate. Get some. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Bye, bum. Try to live too long. Bam. What did Milkman say? Good night, Milkman. Sleep well, Milkman. Morgan is a human goddess, whereas Chicho is the god of the former, I see. <gasps> Cheese. Cheese, Gromit. Floor cheese. Nom 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 nom. This guy is so strong, I love it. It makes the other dungeon that was so difficult feel feel worth it. Talak does pale in comparison to his mentor. My god. I need to rest. There's no end to this. I won't stop now. I will make it back to Sheila. And I will ask my friends. What will you ask your friends? I will ask them why they betrayed me. What? What has happened? Red is nothing compared to floor cheese. Ooh, skeletons. Moors, the grand wizard. We have finally found you. Please surrender and come with us. Step aside. Don't make me repeat myself. I will not forgive anyone who gets in my way, even the goddess herself. I understand you long to return, but if you do, you will surely die. Why do you believe I will die if I return? Do you think you could handle the truth I'm about to show you? Lord of Darkness, do not underestimate me. Very well then. Behold. Th that's my house. But why? Why is it in flames? It can't be. What? Why are human soldiers destroying my home? <gasps> His baby. His wife. Oh my god, that's grim. Ah, Sheila, my love, Sheila, no, my child, where is my child? No, stop, Wh why? The nobles heard tales of your so-called friends. They sent their men out for revenge. Because you learned of Jab's ultimate spell, you and everyone related to you was murdered. Ah, Sheila, my love, my baby, I'm sorry, all because of me. If you seek revenge, submit yourself to Goddess Morrigan's eternal will. Morrigan? Morrigan, bro? Oh, there she is. Moors, you poor soul. You must be in so much pain. Mm. Where you are is not important. What is important are your feelings towards humans, your betrayal, your hatred, your sadness. I see. Even you have given up on humans. Also, Moors, we got all the floor cheese. Floor cheese, floor bread, give me some floor ham. Oh, I'm never leaving. Do you forgive those who slaughtered your family? If the opportunity for vengeance comes your way, will you not seize it? I will have my revenge, no matter what. I have lost all hope in humanity. They slay their own brethren out of greed and selfishness to achieve the order of Aton Kimeni? Humanity must be destroyed. You understand my will, do you not? I am yours to command. Tell me how I can have my revenge. Okay. All right then. Uh, sure. Okay. That wasn't at all very grim. Uh, right. Uh, okay. I have no words. And this is only the first quest line. G1. There's like 24 more or something. Jesus. Bro, uh... Things are kind of fucked up at the moment. I do not believe it. The goddess would never turn her back on us. You're a former. She likes you. Donkey. It's hard to believe that such a thing could have happened to Moors. Is he still alive? And, and this is the first time I've heard about how much he hated humans. Please, don't speak of this to anyone else. It's better he's remembered as a hero. We only have limited information to go on so far. What do you mean? I literally observed his memories. I'm pretty sure that's good information. Thank you for sharing my mentor's fate with me, Patty. Hmm, interesting. This is the end. That can't be. I don't believe the book ends here. It breathes like there should be more to it. Looking at the introduction, it seems like a three-part series. Could you go out and find another? If we can get other volumes, we can figure out how best to deal with Moors and the goddess, and perhaps inform the king. Oh, I don't know if we should inform the king. He's the one who killed them. New Day, New Me. We have one of the three books written by the grand but depressed wizard Moors. I think we should head out and procure the next one. But first, you know what time it is. It's Homestead Stone Time. Hey! That's that. Let's head to Crystal and see if she knows anything. Hello. Another volume to this book. 
I'm not so sure. She pointed us in the direction of our old friend, the bookshop owner, Arya. Book of Revenge? It's Formanian? Why don't you say so? I'm afraid you'll have to look somewhere else for that. I don't carry things like that. So I'll tell you what. You've piqued my interest. I'll ask around. If I hear anything, I'll get in touch with you. She needs some time to find us any clues about the whereabouts of the second book. Let's use this opportunity to get some more skills as a puppeteer. I'm sure they'll be helpful in this quest. Ooh, Threshold Cutter can be upgraded. Nice. Talk to who and Emin Machia. Finish your training already? I knew you had a knack for this. The sixth act is Crisis. This technique makes your marionette grab all nearby enemies with its strings and pull them in. It's a perfect skill for your dire moments. How would you like to learn another skill? Wait, I haven't learned the first skill yet. This is the seventh act of puppetry. I call it Climactic Crash. How do I... How do I try it out? Do I need to... Oh, I need to finish the quest, don't I? Complete and complete. I thought there'd be like a storyline to that, but I guess not. There we go. Now do I have them? Yes, there we go. Let's go test out some of our new skills. Try that one. Hey, it pulled them close, I guess. How do I... Go that way. What's happening here? Why can't I use the skill? It's cool. Do I have to hold it down? Might have to hold it down. Yeah, I definitely have to hold it down. And then spin. I see. Okay. Climactic crash. I can learn both of these now. Good. Good. Load up climactic crash. And let spin. It does not spin for that far, though. Good to know. And then I get here. And then I can use this move to pull in a bunch of enemies. Still not as good as this one, which I can just go in and strike, but it's, it's useful, right? I apologize for my past self. These two are some of my favorite skills now. I just didn't understand. I didn't understand. Try it, grab some fools. Yeah, all four of them. Okay, those are quite good. And release. And that was all of them. Fantastic. That was very good. I'm very happy with this new skill. Oh, sick. But Paradox for now, because that's what I keep calling it. And my Crisis is ranked up, and my Climactic Crash is ranked up. To me, to me, to you. Inciting Incident became rank 8. Very nice. It's me. I must slay myself. Use the skill. Yes! Yes, exactly! Flash and spin. There we go! She must have found a clue by now, so let's go check in on Aria. Okay, back to the quest. That was a small diversion. Leslie has some information you might be interested in. She once saw the Book of Revenge inside Kaya Dungeon. She tells us we might be able to find the book hidden away inside Kaya Dungeon. Let's go check it out! It's nice to do a dungeon as myself every now and again. Okay, here we are. I refuse to die in Kaya Dungeon. To the next room! Ooh, multiple rooms. Well, I can't go through there, so... Magic Mastery, hell yeah! No life for you! You do not deserve it. Ow. So I got three keys now. I think that's the most keys I've ever held at once in this game so far. I opened the door using the dungeon key. I opened the door using the dungeon key. I've opened the door using the dungeon key. Ooh, I can go this way. No, I'll go this way. Always stick to the left. That's my motto. It hasn't failed me because I'm now on the left again. On the left wall. And then I drive right down here because it's the left. Always wins. You'll never get lost in a maze with this strategy. Crisis. Good job, Crisis. Ooh, I can advance this one though. Rank D as well. Go downstairs. Oh, there's more. There's levels. What is going on? I've never been in a two-floor dungeon before. Hey, but Climactic Crash could be upgraded. That's rank C. Very good. Ooh, egg, 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 blah, blah, egg bond. Everything is better once it's upgraded, as it turns out. That is the boss room. Now, we're going to go charge down five, and we're just going to go straight through there. Get, get. There we go. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, Book of Revenge, volume two. I need to talk to Crystal anyway, but let's go on my auctions. Hell yeah, that's the money. Let's see if we can get the book translated. I'm very excited to see the next part of the story. I am the Priestess Crystal. I know. So there really was another volume. I'm impressed. I didn't think you'd be able to find it. I'll translate this book as promised. I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. Oh, silly me. We have to wait first. You can always come make potions with me at the well behind the food store. I will come have a look. I think I've made potions before. Do I have the skill for it? I don't actually think I do have the skill for it. Do you gather water from the well? Come sit and chill with you until my next quest then. <gasps> Wait! Why does your puppet look so cool? Fallen mag- Oh, what? That's awesome! Mine just looks like, uh... Like that. <laughs> That's so cool! I don't know how to do any emotes yet, so pretend I'm bowing. <laughs> oh! What? <laughs> That's very silly. I've been working on this for days, what do you think? I think it's very good. I think the translation must be done. You must be here for the translation of the next volume. I am. Do you need anything else? You're asking so much of me. No, but I will have a little look at the book. Written by Moors. Why can't this beautiful world be ours? Why do those wicked humans have to claim ownership? Why does God ignore the treacherous acts of those humans? You're a human too. Oh wow, okay. 
Remember the fact that the goddess Morgan is now on our side. Under her guidance, we will successfully destroy the humans that may stand on our path and reach the holy land of Tyr Nanog first, opening the gates for us. This fight is not strictly for revenge, but for our quest to bring light and order back into the world. We will all live and prosper with healthy lives. Show Duncan. Of course I've got to show Duncan. Duncan's very involved in this. And he wants to tell the king, right? I do not trust that. I'm quite suspicious of Duncan at the moment. Humans are evil. Kind of the crux of that. Duncan, humans are evil. Did you know? Good job. You're quite resourceful. Finding both the book and having it translated. So it's true. That's why the former scrolls exist. The formers recognized that humans and nature were growing apart. I think we need the last volume of the set. All of their plans will be in that book. Ever since Magshareth, formers have been preparing for another war. Duncan wants us to find the third book. Let's just jump ahead to our favorite bookkeeper. It's turning out to be a lot harder to find the last volume. My distributor has been absolutely useless. Obviously, it can't be that easy. After some waiting, we get directed to Lassa, the teacher in Tir Chinali. She was given the book to translate, but she couldn't work out how, and gave it back to the miner, Sumas. I haven't been to this area before, it's pretty cool. In a surprising twist, he just gives us the book. Hmm, okay, okay, hmm, this seems way too easy. But now we have the third book, so let's get this thing translated. A crystal, crystal, crystal. I must warn you. This last volume contains some disturbing passages. Should we have a look? How angry has he gotten? Read. To all former warriors, the goddess of revenge has allowed us to deal a judgment blow to the humans that are incapacitated with greed and lust. Angry, anger. Conclusion. Our enemies are now at the point where their egos have reached such heights they are forgetting who they really are. It is the perfect time for us to set human society ablaze. Remember, the glory of Tir Nanog shall be in our hands. Okay. Duncan. Duncan, we've got a war on our hands, Duncan. The threat level just keeps on rising. This is exciting. Duncan, however, really knows how to bring the mood down by sending us to get another book. This can't be. Eren is in terrible danger. G Glass Glabohelene? Glass Glabohelene is a legendary giant that once plagued this world. It's impossible to describe the terror this monster inspires. He's huge, look at that cool guy. Once, Glass was commanded by an evil god to rampage across all of Eren, and it decimated our ancestor race, the Partholons. If we could learn more about what they faced back then. Wait, I have a book, another book. Another one. Hello, ah Bryce. You're friends with Duncan, yes? By the way, I learned something very interesting from this book. Resurrecting that monster supposedly requires a material called adamantium. Adamantium is a magical, a mystical, magical metal that's resistant to magic. Okay, it's not <laughs> Magical, it's just mystical. It's a type of metal that's only found in the mines of Bangor. Let's go chat up Tarlac. The bitch. Tarlac, buddy. Tarlac wants to give us his old glasses so we can experience some of his memories inside Tir Nanog. But first, we need to find some preserving magic powder. Because reasons. Oh, so dungeon's not in the dungeon guide. I didn't know that. Okay, let's see what you can throw at me. Go get him. And turn a corner. This is very cool. There's lots of stuff in the way visually, but it's very cool. There's a lot of lore behind this dungeon too. Is there? Okay. Interesting. Cheese! Floor cheese! I don't want to get fat though. I don't care to get fat because I'm eating too much floor cheese. Spiders are good too because they're going to drop me cobwebs. And cobwebs at the moment are just money. Hey, werewolf. I'm sorry. Hey, climactic crash can be upgraded. Climactic crash can be upgraded? There we go. Aha! Hidden chest. Can't believe you try and bamboozle me like that game. And the marionette can be upgraded. Rank five. Act one inciting incident can be upgraded. That's very good too. I reckon. But you are a mimic. And I was correct. What kind of boss are we fighting here? A werewolf perhaps? A snake? Swords? Flying swords. Go! This dude's strong, look at him. He doesn't take many hits, but he can dish him out. Well, that didn't go super well, but it went well enough. Hey, but I can advance my Colossus Marionette, so it was worth it. And I can advance my Control Marionette, so it was definitely worth it. And I can advance Climactic Crash. Magic Powder Preservation, a Fashion Cap, and then a bunch of gold. This is the Fashion Cap. Oh, fuck yeah. I look amazing. Now we have the Preserving Magic Powder, let's head back and... Hello! Actually, let's get some coffee with Spearmint. Wow! Can I, can I request a mountain? Oh, I love this. This is awesome. God, hello? Sweet coffee scooter. I guess I'll talk to this guy, right? So every day Liam will give you coffee and a gift box every day you talk to him so make sure you come back every day. Okay. Everyone just hanging out? Everyone just chilling? I like these glowy guys. This shield is awesome. 
specialty goods. Aha! So here's two mounts, and then there's this scooter, which is a weapon apparently. <laughs> Should I open the sweet coffee box? Hughes! What did I get? Fireworks kit! Feels so fast! You look amazing. I wish to learn to transform into things eventually. Uh, open the party so I can take you back to the mainland. Oh, okay, sorry. I was distracted by looking at things. I have gotta make sure to get my daily coffee package while I still can. I also really love getting new pets, so uh, I'm gonna try and do that in the background. Anyway, anyway, let's finally go back and talk to Tarlac. Okay, Tarlac? Oh, you found it! I will now cast a magic spell on the item with the magic powder of preservation, which will take you to the Rabbi Dungeon. Oh, I'm in. Okay. I've played as Rari, and I've played as Tarlac. So, if there's three warriors, and three minus two equals one. I think I might be playing as Mari for this section. This is Terran Nanak? I thought you said this was some kind of paradise where all your wishes come true. Rory, keep your faith in the goddess. You saw her in your dreams, remember? She guided us here for a reason. This place looks so grim because the goddess is threatened by the formers. Once we rescue the goddess, we can fulfill our dreams. If you think so, Talak, then I believe it. Let us go! She's so small! How do you play characters that are this tiny? <laughs> Let us find out what happened to this small child of 10 years old. She's 10 in this. Go in dungeons? Don't send your 10 year old into dungeons, it's not Pokemon. Bah! Bah! Interesting. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. So this loads up five of them. So I can fire repeatedly? Oh, okay. I do like bows. This is making me want to try bows. Cheese! Let's put the cheese in the hot bar. Make sure I eat the cheese as soon as I get it. What is that? Snake Lagodzia. I'm enjoying the bow. Don't let him cast the magic. There we go. Good shit. Oh. I have been waiting for you, intruders. Those who challenge the goddess must be destroyed. Now come! Oh, yeah! Let's charge at the strongest strike. A Up to a hundred and fire. Not bad. Easy! These guys were so strong! How did they lose this? Ugh! My lady! Ha! I may have underestimated you, but this is far from over. I see someone who must sacrifice everything. I see someone whose wish is more than they can bear. I see someone who's destined to suffer for an eternity. Ha ha ha, you fools! The curse of the goddess shall haunt you forever. Hello! Um... What the fuck? This is... does not look good. What in the shit? Glass. You know what this thing is? Oh, this is where they're building him. It, it was the very beast that ravaged Eren in the distant past. Why is it here of all places? Tyr Nanog is supposed to be a paradise. I, I can't believe this. I thought I taught you not to steal from others, Tarlac. Who's there? Show yourself. There he is. Moors. My master, Master Moors. I, I can't believe it, you're still alive. We're here to save the goddess and open the gates of Tyr Nanog. Where's the goddess? I must tell you that there are things in this world that young people like you will never understand. Keep in mind, Talak knew all of this and could have told you from the get-go instead of sending you on that wild goose chase. Talak, you motherfucker. <laughs> Seize them and try not to hurt them. Ah! Talak! Rari! Mari. Stop! Don't hurt them. These are the humans that defy the very concept of order and peace. They have disobeyed my divine will and dared set foot in this place. Why do you let them live? I, the goddess of war and vengeance, command you. Go, bring their heads to me. What? No, stop! Mari! Rari! Who are you? Where am I? Is this the land of the formers? Don't worry, you're safe. This is where you and I first met. Rabbi Dungeon. I, I don't know what to say. You don't believe me. I need to go. I have to find the- God, he's a bit of a prick, isn't he? Oh, he's got internal damage. You're badly wounded. You may look fine on the outside, but inside you've suffered terribly. It doesn't matter. You're awfully stubborn. But know that if you leave now, you won't be able to come back alive. I may be a former, but I do want to learn about love, one step at a time. Ah, Very sweet. Talak's still a bastard, though. Talak. Talak, man. Come on. You could- you could- you could have told me. Could have told me at any time. But no. You had to be coy about it. After that heavy story section, let's just go get carried through some dungeons. For fun. I was thinking about showing you guys the dungeons that I got carried through, but I think if you want to see those, you should come join me on my streams at twitch.tv slash partymurloc. <sighs> Good morning everyone! What a glorious day to go harvest our homestead stones. Keep mining, keep mining, keep mining, mining, keep mining, keep mining, woo woo woo! First, 
let's see the results of our Shadowland excursion that you didn't get to see. Actually, first off, I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, I can advance rising action, that's very nice. Advance and advance, there we go. That's Climactic Crash, rank eight, Crisis at rank nine, Rising Action, rank seven. I have caught up with these new skills so quickly. Nice. Anyway, now that we've learnt the true fate of the missing warriors, let's go talk to Duncan. I'm sure he'll want to know. Duncan, it's time. Do you remember how I told you I raised Mari? I think I may have cut out a section I should have left in. Basically, Mari's the daughter of Moors and Sheila. Moors thought she'd been murdered. That's why he was so surprised to see her. There you go, you're all caught up. Duncan gives us an item with the memories of Sheila, the dead wife of Sad Boy Moors. I feel like we're gonna learn something interesting from this item. Let's head to the math dungeon. Okay, here we are. It's worked, it has worked. Oh, back to cutscenes, very exciting. Hello, what's going on, what's happening? You're alive, dear. You look so different. I can only imagine what you've been through. There he is. Poor Moors. Moors? Moors? You don't recognize me? It's Sheila, your wife. Hey, at least I get to play as Moors. Goodbye. I will never not enjoy that. It makes me want to pick up magic just so I can do that, because it's so satisfying. Cheese! No! My cheese! This brings me great sadness. I need to rest, there's no end to this. I've been going in circles for ages. Oh, this is back before he learns about. I see. We're reliving the math dungeon. Instead of Moors, we're watching it from the perspective of his dead wife. I'll make it back to Sheila, and I will ask my friends. I'll ask them why they betrayed me. <sighs> the drama, the stakes are so high already. Ah, oh, what great sadness. Interesting making me replay the dungeon again. It does feel like padding, but it's okay. It's fine padding, I don't mind. Ah, oh, Moors. Moors! There she is, there's Morrigan. Yes, I am Morrigan, the protector of humans, guardian of warriors. No, it can't be. Something's wrong. Oh. <gasps> What's happening here? That, that's Kichol. How did he survive? How could the evil god of the formers? Morrigan didn't abandon everyone. Oh my god, the plot twists. Humanity must be destroyed. No, what are you talking about? You understand my will, do you not? You're not Morrigan, imposter. Moors, don't listen to her. Look at me, please. Oh, goddess, I am yours to command. Tell me how I can have my revenge. Gasp! Dun, dun, dun! The plot twists once more. Back to Dunky Poo. Duncan! Is that true? Is that really the memory that was held within Sheila's memento? Then, there's no doubt. It was Kichol. He's the instigator of all evil, but the one who brought about Glass Gahibelin. Gahibelin? 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 The goddess lost her life in Eren because of him. That's right, that explains it all! When the goddess was creating the barriers in the dungeons, Chichol petrified her and took her to Tyr Nanog. Then he pretended to be the goddess to rally the forces of evil and Mors. That clever bastard. Hurry, you must go to Tyr Nanog and save the goddess! It's time, everyone. It's time to head to Tyr Nanog. We must stop this evil plot. But before we do, we've got to go talk to Talak. Wait, that wasn't the real Morrigan? A white winged, and their face was covered? I don't believe this, I've been deceived. There's no doubt about it, the god of the formers. Thank you for letting me know. Go to Tien and Nog. I'm ashamed to have to ask you, but it's up to you now. You must rescue the goddess. Okay, so we still don't know how to get to Tien and Nog. Oh, help me. Can anyone hear me? Anyone, the monster of destruction. Glass of blah, 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 blah will soon be resurrected. The adamantium required for resurrection is ready for some time now. The sample is almost complete. Well, I don't much longer to wait. <laughs> it's so fast. Once the avatar of destruction has life injected into it. All right, we'll last a few days. Please come defeat Glass. Save me from this place. This pendant. Here, the door, the key. Hurry. Hurry. Ah, uh, okay. I'm ready for the final mission of this quest, I imagine. The day of Glass Glibberhilly. Resurrection is approaching, correct? Just as I thought. Moors must be behind it. The resurrection of Glass Glibberhilly. You must find a way to get to Tien and Nog. If only there was a former you could ask. Luckily, we do know a former. If it really is the land of the formers, like Tarlac said, there are no friendly faces or safe places. No normal human could survive there long. I'll tell you how to get to the plate. All right, I'll do this cutscene first. Hello, Morrigan. Harry. There is not much time. I have begun to see Eren rising in flames. They have already used the metal from your world. They create a skeletal frame for the giant. My body is bound by powers. Wait, by the powers of the five magic stones? Okay. TLDR, we need to head to Barry Dungeon and use this black former pass to enter Tyr Nanog. Let's do this thing. We're in the end game now. Let's do it. Let's go. We're here. I've memorized the location. Is it worth picking up goblin former scrolls? I don't know. Ooh, an apple for my horse. Imps. I've never seen imps before. Mimic? 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 So the Mimic doesn't trigger if you're on horseback or on your mount. That's hilarious. Oh, no, they're up now. They are up now. 
charge up the strike and just go through them. Yep, that's one. That's two. And the last one can just get four. Over there. Oh, wow, okay. Yep, this is the perfect opportunity to use this move. Go! Yeah! How are we doing for training? Pretty good. I can upgrade Climactic Crash. Very nice. Am I done? Another world. Are you sure I want to leave the dungeon? No, I feel like I need to... Oh, there you go. There you go. Yes, cross the world. To another world! Wow. Look at this place. Jesus. Tatir. Da. Nog. Oh, wow. Look at this place. Oh. Oh. I'm in Tia Chinali. Hello. It's an other version. This is it. The land of the formers. Oh, there seems to be a human here. Dougal. You're not Duncan, you're Dougal. Can I talk to you, Dougal? I see that you're not from around here. Well, I'm the last human around these parts. It's pretty lonely, but I don't like to talk about why I was left here. Apparently, we can't revive in this land. Scary. Let's rectify that with some zombie souls, shall we? Let's get over here. Use my skill of ultimate power and ultimate destiny. Good guys, bad guys, and explosions, as far as the eye can see. There, you should be able to revive yourself now. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. Okay, I finished talking with Dougal. Our next task is to use a small green gem in Albi Dungeon, so that we can collect a black gem. How video gamey. By the way, you can't revive with a statue in this dungeon. Okay. So what you're telling me is, don't die. Just say no to death. If asked about death, say no. That's the strategy I'm hearing. I can upgrade Combat Mastery, that's very nice. I can upgrade Critical Hit, and can I upgrade... Yes, Light Armor Mastery, very good. Me and my stompy boy. Can you speed up your pets? Like, if they get high levels, they speed up, or is there a set limit to how fast they are? Yeah, yeah. Good stompy, good stompy boy. Go, go, go. Oh, that is very good. Ratman? Hello, Ratman. Goodbye, Ratman. Oh, wow. That didn't work at all. There's a lot of enemies. I'm thinking I charge up this attack. Crash! Oh, yeah. I totally wanted to do no damage there. Ow. Ow. Give me a second. Give me a second. I need to give myself a moment to breathe. All right. Let's go get this guy. Nice. Open this chest. Yes. What dropped? Uh, gold and a 50 HP potion. Nearly a thousand gold, not so bad. It's something. I did not find the black orb. Uh huh. I may have fucked that. Um. Rip, yeah, it was the end room. Fuck! Ah! Okay. Do I have any green orbs left? Can't believe I fucked that up. Absolute devastation. At least I can upgrade Threshold Cutter and Climactic Crash. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Green jam! Okay. Okay! <laughs> Round two of the same dungeon. Oh, this thing. There we go. Right. Smack! Oh, there we go. He broke the seal and revealed the black orb fragment. Try entering the dungeon using the black orb. There we go. Right. Okay. Now we can use the black orb to head deeper inside the dungeon. Here is the black orb. Here is Albi dungeon. Drop. Enter. Oh, inciting incident level up. Hell yeah. Charge over there. Flash and go. Uh, good job, good job. And on to the next dungeon. Ooh, next dungeon, I mean next room. What's in this chest? A nice country rat. This will be good for my dinner. Cheese! I'll get that cheese. This one. And then the next spider. Get them both, grab them both, grab them both, grab them both. Hell yeah. Threshold cutter. Upgrade. Very nice. Rank three and everything. Right, we got ghost armor in there. Don't know how strong ghost armor is. I know... Mimido is not a high enough level for it, so I'm going to summon the horse. Let's take it carefully round the outside. Good. This one. Although I don't think I'm going to hit. Maybe. If I'm lucky. I was lucky. Oh, okay. The game crashed for a second. <gasps> Morrigan. What's happened? Did I free you? Hello? Hello, Morrigan. Thank you. Your courage and sheer will have brought me freedom after all these years. Really? I just kind of killed some dudes. I would like nothing more than to repay you for your hard work, but there's no time for that. The Avatar of Destruction, the Legendary Giant, the Resurrection of Glass, blah 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 blah, blah approaches. 
Glass Glil is a monster of utter destruction, and it has no will or conscience of its own. Only its body remains. The summoner binds it to their will. It will destroy everything that crosses Erin and Tyr Nanog. You must find Glass Glil's will, separated from its body. We've done it! We freed the goddess Morrigan! Not that fake evil one, but the real one! Now let's... What are these two doing in here? <laughs> Hello? Huh? Um, I'm still stuck on the fact that you can get Rum and Ram in this game. From an event? Okay, that makes sense. I want them both, though. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Now, we have one last task. Defeating Glass... It turns out the Dougal is the spirit and the original owner of the body Glass... Dougal gives us a pendant so we can head once more into LB Dungeon and slay his original body. Be warned, this is by far the largest dungeon I've ever faced. So enjoy this cut down version. Ah, uh, I'm dropping this. Pendant of the Goddess. Drop. Okay, I'm here. Ooh, let's go. Into the dungeon. Can I just hit these? Are they, are they weak? Hell yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready for this to get really difficult. So I'm a little scared. I'm sweating, but I'm ready. I'm not ready. Okay, wisps. I feel like I can take on wisps and they're not going to be too aggressive, so I'm just going to go hit the other ones quickly. There you go. Act 1 inciting incident can be upgraded. It's all worth it. Rank 5. I feel like I can always guess if it's a dead end. Just in the way the path is structured so far. Maybe I'll get it wrong in the future. But for now, I have a 100% guess correction rate. Correct guessing rate? I guess well, doesn't matter. <laughs> Forward! Oh no, downstairs. That always worries me. Where are you taking me, game? How many levels must I go down? Climactic crash right through the middle of this should do a shitload of damage. Go! Yeah! Oh, that was good. Rising action. What is that? A lycanthrope. Hey! Well, luckily it wasn't that strong. I feel individual enemies in this game, so far, aren't the problem. It's when I'm fighting like 15 enemies at once. Oh, downstairs. Okay, goodbye 4-2. Welcome 4-3. Charge through there. Yeah! Good shit. Goodbye. Ooh, that was a defense. Downstairs again. Oh my god. Oh, okay. This is my favorite bit. Charge up. And release. Hell yeah! All of them. That was satisfying. Oh no, there was one. Hey, it turned back into a chest when I got on my horse. Interesting. You gonna come for me here? You get off my horse? It does! It's coming for me! It's trying! Oh, that's the Pyrandal. It is time. Let us face the boss. Okay. The boss room. You guys ready? Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, the fuck is that? Is that your real body? Dark Lord, you've come far, but this is the end for you. I refuse. No one can stop the resurrection of Glass Glebohubble. Have at you! Got some ghost armor on the left, ghost armor on the right. Let's take care of that ghost armor first. And we're gonna charge straight through him. Ooh! I didn't expect that to happen. My, uh, my horse doesn't feel like fighting. That's okay. He's dead. Impressive. Oh, he's got rats with him. This is pretty unsanitary. But the time has finally come. The day we've long awaited. The last days of Erin. I grant you one final mercy. You may be the first victim of the newly resurrected Glass Glibachel. May the punishment for you and your sins be agonizing, intruder. Oh. You have come earlier than I expected, and for that I commend you. But alas, Glass Glibachel has already been resurrected. Uh, the blood of brave souls such as yours helped accelerate the revival of Glass Glibachel. Now, there is no way to stop this monster from completely destroying the land of humans. Struggle if you must. Oh, there he is. Exactly. Skeletons, all the meat's already gone. But rats, that's very unsanitary. They carry diseases, don't you know? Also, Jesus Christ. Oh, there he is. Let me just do an attack. There we go. That's the first hit. Not bad. Second hit. Okay, I need to take care of this thing. It's bothering me. Thank you, horse, though. Doing the Lord's work over there. Go on, get in a hit, get in a hit. Ow. Nice. Yes! Yay! He's, he's disgusting though, look at this dude. That is one hell of a design. Oh my, you really defeated Glass Global Her? This is even better than I expected. Run! She's not the real goddess, she's an imposter! I already knew that. Ah. You finally figured it out, Mors. How stupid humans are. So easily deceived by what their eyes see. Even a great wizard like you was no exception to that. You didn't trust me enough to fully resurrect Glass Glover. 
leaving it weak and vulnerable. Damn it, I thought I was just really strong. How dare you disguise yourself as the goddess? Luckily, I've already freed her. Glass Glilacher is already dead. Surrender and beg for mercy. Ha ha ha, me? Beg for mercy? You humans are so funny. How could a god like me ever beg to an insect like you? Humans are so pathetic. Ha ha ha, you're still a fool, Moors. This is only the beginning. You should have known better. You know what happens when Glass Glilacher falls? After all, you are its creator. Th that's... Does he rise again? Does he explode? Ah! He is... he is Nuke. Him Nuke. The destruction of Urg. How... how could I... Kitro, is this what you intended all along? Why, Moors, you seem surprised. A little too late for that, no? You used me. This is why you wanted Glass Glohovel. It's all my fault. But I will pay for my own sins. I will sacrifice my life to end everything that I have started. Right here, right now, with you. I'll cast you into hell, along with those intruders. Those intruders? I am simply one man. One 17-year-old man. <laughs> Using Fireball, your best and strongest move. Behold, evil creature, you who bring destruction to- Jesus Christ, these are too fast. <laughs> ah! Ah! Leave this place now! Ah! You can't beat him right now, you're too weak! Bitch, please, I killed the glass glibber hole! No! No, Moors! Daddy! Moors! No! Or Granddaddy, Dilf? Gilf. Gilf Moors. So, all we have left are the whelps. How dare you, sir. Morgan! Morgan, I saved you for a reason, I need help now. Morgan! Morgan! I order you in the name of the goddess. Halt! Yay! Thank you for heeding my call. Morgan, I choose you! You have disturbed the human world with your deceptions. As the goddess of revenge, I shall not regard this lightly. Ha! Deceptions? I have deceived no one. My words and actions ring truer than any platitude. Taking your form was merely a necessary stop in doing so. This is the first step to a true paradise, is the annihilation of humans. Our worlds will be born from the death of humanity. Are you not aware, Morrigan? As a god, you must know the ultimate will of those who created us. Kitchell, grieving creature, why must you seek to bring a higher meaning to your own convictions? Do not twist the will of divinity to your own ends. You betray your station. A goddess who speaks like a human. It is shameful. The pain and sorrow I have suffered all these years of confinement allow me no choice but to avenge the injustice you have inflicted upon me. Prepare yourself. Perhaps now is not the time, Morrigan. I shall hold off your challenge until next time. Ha 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 ha. You managed to defeat Glass Glibber. Well done. I shall not forget your name now. My name is Party Murloc. A very common name out here in Erin. You have defeated Glass Glibber. Thank you. The giant may be gone, but this is not the end. Not yet. What I truly fear is what comes after Glass Glibber's death. It tears open a gateway connecting Erin and this world. Yes. That was Kitcho's plan from the start. Now I understand what's going on. Before I was just like, what the fuck is happening? Now his Dark Lord do not need the dungeons to invade Eren. The Dark Manor will destroy my seal, and the combining of the two worlds is something that no one will be able to stop. Please, return and start preparing for the inevitable invasion of the Formers. Kitcho's ambition will one day engulf and burn the whole world. Make sure that no more humans are tricked into serving Formers, as Moors was, in their conquest. Oh, hello. Now I was here. Maratoya has come for her father, yes? That is Mary. She is the guide of the soul stream. You know her as now. Mary was now? How did that happen? How did... Huh? Return to Eren. Farewell. And we will meet again when the time is right. Okay, Morrigan. It is definitely a brain fuck. How did she become now? That doesn't make any sense. What a story! Oh my god! I've had a great time, and this is only G1. There are many, many more stories like this in the game. Let me know if you want to see me play through more of the story. I definitely want to play- Oh! Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Maybe? Party Mello, can you hear me? Who's calling to me this time? Oh, it's, it's Morrigan again. The power of the formers that's spreading from the other world, blah blah blah. At this rate, it won't be long until the Formers take over the blessed land of Eren. Party Malak, please follow the path to the Night of Light. Remember, the path to the Night of Light. The path to the Night of Light. Go to Emmy and Machia. Emmy and Machia is the sanctuary of the, path, the Night of Light. Your name represents hope in Eren. If you don't gain power to protect humanity, Jesus Christ is so fast. Please, go to Emmy and Machia. Become a Knight of Light. <laughs> Already setting up the next main quest line, are we? Well, you'll have to wait until next time to see that. Thank you for watching. This video took a lot longer than the last one, so if you enjoyed it, feel free to like and subscribe. Maybe even comment on what you think I should try next. Thanks, and see you next time.